Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today as you can see over here we will be understanding uh, erythrocytic cytokine. If you have seen my previous video and I can show you the same slide uh, which is this one, we have already discussed the cycle called pre erythrocytic cytokine in detail where uh, the sporozoids, they, how, they, how they infect liver cells and then there is a formation of uh, hepatic merozoids. I recommend you to watch that video before watching this one in this video we will be discussing erythrocytic cytokine in detail means what are the different stages of malaria parasite inside human uh, rbcs rbcs are the red blood cells we'll discuss all those stages one by one we will create uh, the illustrations uh, this particular illustration from uh, individual components and then i will also at the same time try to explain uh, the erythrocytic cytokine uh, to you in a in a simple simple way so that you can understand different stages right so okay so without any delay let's uh, start the video let's jump onto the slide where we create illustrations which is uh, this one so i'll start with the the human uh, human structure the human body structure so uh, why i'm showing you this one uh, because malaria parasite develops inside humans and also inside mosquito and inside humans it will have exoerythrocytic cytokine which will happen inside the liver cells and in case of um, uh, in case of uh, RBCs, it will be erythrocytic cytokine after that, and there will be the formation of uh, merozoids. The interesting part is uh, you'll have merozoids getting formed from uh, both of these uh, uh, these uh, cycles uh, uh, in exoerythrocytic cycle as well as in erythrocytic cycle, right? So I hope uh, that clarifies a few things. Uh, everything else we'll discuss in detail, and I'll try to explain all those things. But uh, let's start with this one, right, so that you understand. This cycle is happening inside uh, humans, and the the gametogony is going to happen in mosquito, and that that will also uh, include that will that will basically cover the entire life cycle of malaria parasite. Okay, so what will happen after that, right? So you have uh, the human body, and uh, as we have already discussed, that uh, merozoids they are going to get released from liver. So this is uh, this represents. The shape of the liver i hope uh, it's it's clear let me make it a little bit uh, optimum right so this is uh, this is the liver and in this one you can you can clearly see what is happening is the merozoids they 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 are there and and they are getting formed inside the liver cells and we have already discussed in detail right now what will happen after that so i've already made this uh, this e arrow that i'll, I'll use uh, to show or direct things, right? So I hope now you can you can understand what will happen. That uh, these merozoids, specifically these uh, these tiny structures that are there, uh, the yellow colored structures, they are going to get released from here and uh, will infect the RBCs. So as you can see over here, let me zoom in also. You can see these merozoids; they are penetrating inside the RBC. And let me tell you again that we are discussing erythrocytic cytokine. It's a crucial stage in the life cycle of Plasmodium parasite. And when we talk about Plasmodium parasite, we have lots of different species. We have ovale, malari, we have falciparum, we have uh, anulaceae. There are various species of Plasmodium parasite. So you can see this structure. And uh, what I'm trying to show here is merozoids they are getting uh, inside the RBCs. Right. So this is uh, we can we can we can basically label it as a uh, hypnozoids inside the inside the RBCs or uh, the mm, basically merozoids they are coming uh, and entering inside the RBCs right it's rather it's a it's a more accurate term is the merozoids uh, inside the RBCs right okay so I have for some reason I have two labels I'm going to delete this one okay so this is step one next what will happen after that is uh, so we can also call this stage as the infection and entry stage, right? So infection and entry stage uh, includes the entry of the merozoids inside the RBCs. And after that, what will happen uh, is that uh, it is going to develop into a different form, right? Uh, so you will have hepatic merozoids that will enter inside the RBCs and their shape is basically small. They're small in shape. They are round in shape. Uh, one to two micrometer is the, is the size of these merozoids. They also have apical structure for host cell attachment and entry. So what is happening in this case, they have a specific structure called apical structure that interacts with the RBC. And after that, they can enter inside the RBC. They also have surface proteins for host cell recognition because as you, as you can understand over here, and uh, probably you're going to also appreciate this process because it will include a lot of protein-protein uh, uh, protein interactions where uh, uh, where the where the proteins from the parasite will interact with the proteins from the host cell. After that, uh, it is going to enter inside the RBC. It also have uh, it uh, these these uh, these uh, parasites uh, also have. Uh, 
Another structure which is important for metabolic functions, it's also known as uh, epicoplast. So if, if something, uh, some related terms com, comes uh, in the book, so you should be able to understand what is uh, epicoplast. Epicoplast is, uh, is basically a structure responsible for the, the entry of the Mm, uh, entry of the parasite inside the also it's important for its metabolic function correct and now let's move on to the second stage where you can see it's uh, it's now inside the rbc and uh, uh, now in, inside the rbc and we can we can basically also label rbc why don't we do that right so why don't we label this as rbc so that it's it's clear as you can also see i'm trying to show it in a red color but usually the rbc's um, uh, they have a different different uh, you know shape uh, uh, not not uh, entirely entirely circular but if you see on the top they are like this right and then uh, there is a groove in the center anyway so as you can see over here in erythrocytic uh, stage once inside the uh, erythrocyte the merozoite develop into trophozoite stage so what will happen uh, that it is going to develop into trophozoite stage and after that it will form uh, that unique uh, stage which is called the ring stage right so now it will develop inside the rbc now let me let me make it smaller so you have ring form and then uh, there is a early trophozoid and then uh, this is uh, you can you can also call it as a late trophozoid stage over here correct and we can use this arrow further to create uh, 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 this this uh, you know this next step uh, which is coming from this uh, the first stage which is uh, trophozoid early and late trophozoid right so this probably is early and then you have ring form and you have the late, late trophozoid over here and then mm, further other stages are, are, are going to happen and then you can see over here you will have amoeboid kind of structure inside the rbc and i'll explain all those stages uh, uh, again uh, let me move this human over here and then further what you'll have is uh, as you can see uh, this now it's no more a ring structure right it got converted into another structure which is called as rbc merozoids and uh, this is the early stage and this is also known as shy joint so here what is happening is uh, now formation of uh, basically the hepatos uh, not your side but uh, rbc merozoids is happening and this is very very early so this is not entirely separated still the development is going on in there and this is uh, your early shy joint and after that uh, you know yeah as you can see over here late shy joint and also release of those uh, merozoids into the human body and a lot of complications uh, most of the complications of the malaria happen due to due to uh, due to basically uh, this this uh, stage where the merozoids they are released into the human uh, bloodstream because then the inflammatory action is going to happen right during during this time because uh, rbcs they are there are many uh, in our body and immediately they will get be, they will be infected uh, with the merozoids and then they will get ruptured and a lot of lot of complications are going to happen that is uh, are going to happen inside the body and then a release of merozoids are going to cause uh, complications like fever and, and uh, related, other related complications, right? Now moving on to the erythrocytic stage, what is happening over here? Uh, ring form is, is getting formed so that we have already already discussed, right? And then this is amoeboid emi, shaped structure getting formed inside uh, inside the RBC. In the erythrocytic stage, once the, uh, once the Merozoid is inside the RBC. It develops into trophozoid stage that we have already discussed. And uh, here, what happens is it is able to metabolize hemoglobin at this particular stage. It can metabolize hemoglobin, and then it is uh, it is basically it can survive in the body, and that is the primary nutrient source for the parasite. Right? I'm also using uh, these arrows for better clarity. Now, let me move this arrow to this side, and now you can see. Uh, so the the change will happen from this uh, you know very very unique ring form structure to a little bit amoeboid ring form structure. And right now, what is happening inside the RBC is it is uh, utilizing uh, the hemoglobin as a nutrient source. Now, if we talk about some of the features of trophozoites, it's larger in size as compared to the uh, to the uh, these merozoites that are coming from uh, uh, that that are coming from the. Uh, the liver, as you can see, what can happen, you know, we, we talk about hypnozoids also, they can get activated and they can form hepatic merozoids. These are hepatic merozoids, they are, they are infecting RBCs, and after that it is getting converted into trophozoids. So now you can see the difference, right? It's also size difference is also there. The size uh, size in this case is 1 to 2 micrometer. It also contains a prominent nucleus. So this this ring form, in this ring form you have this round structure, it's the nucleus, so prominent nu nucleus for genetic control. It also has a digestive vacuole. So this central region that I'm trying to develop, uh, design here, it's a vacuole region that is why it, uh, it gets that ring structure appearance because uh, because of that nucleus is shifted to one end and then you have a vacuole somewhere in the center and there are also you know immune uh, protection provided by the 
the surface modification by the parasite. So parasite can also do a lot of modification at this particular stage, but it, it basically retains the apical complex structure in this case also. So there are various uh, various things that are happening. Now moving on to the cyjoint stage here. After this late early and late trophozoite, what is happening is early cyjoint and the late cyjoint structure. So what I can do is early or uh, I would rather say immature and mature cyjoint structures. They are there. This one is mature. Right, so this is mature, this is immature, and uh, the cycle is moving from this to that, and from here it is moving upwards. Right, now you can you can basically understand what is going to happen next is this this cycle is going to get repeated again and again. And let me move it a little bit on that side, and yeah, I have another label for this, which is uh, in the center. I can put it over here. Erythrocytic cytogony is the name of the cycle. Correct, that we already know. So I hope now things are pretty much clear to you that what is happening in case of uh, erythrocytic cytogony. In case of erythrocytic cytogony, uh, what is happening is the RBC merozoites are getting synthesized. So here the infection is happening inside the RBC, not in the liver cells. And everything is happening inside the human body. So it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's a, a sexual cycle because sexual cycle involves the, uh, the gametes. Although the gamete formation will happen, I'll talk about gametogony. Uh, after this, after this uh, erythrocytic cytogony, where uh, the gamete formation will happen inside the human body, and then they will get transferred, uh, and then they will survive inside the mosquito. Anyways, okay. So here you can see immature cytogen formation is there. Now we'll talk about what is what is this uh, uh, immature cytogen structure. So here, what is happening is, is the multinucleated structure is getting formed, correct? And uh, and this this can lead to the formation of merozoites and merozoites can be can be released and this multinucleated structure basically contains uh, uh, the the you know it can it can have a lot of nucleus and then cell wall is getting synthesized from there a lot of merozoites they are getting uh, you know form uh, formed from this uh, immature cytogen and then they are getting released into the bloodstream and then cycle continues so from here cycle again goes to the rbc and then from there again the ring stage is going to happen and that is how all most of the rbcs they are going to get infected and and then immediately the patient will have fever and other complications of malaria uh, and that is why this cycle is the is very very important uh, uh, to study basically the malaria because this is the one which is going to be really dangerous for the human body. All right, so I hope uh, now the erythrocytic cytogeny is clear. We'll meet in the new video where we will discuss uh, the uh, the gametogeny, which is the stage after this. And if you like the video, if you like the hard work that we have done for this video, then please give us a thumbs up and uh, share the video with your uh, friends, uh, with all all those people who need some some you know help with the parasitology study. There are very few lectures that are available on these topics and uh, I'm definitely committed to make more videos. And if you like those kind of videos, then please stay tuned, subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned for more. All right. Thank you and take care.